Okay, with our packages created and allocated to the model. So we have here the model with our packages. Now it's time to create some artifacts that describe our system. Let's start with requirements. To create one artifact, we have two possibilities. We can, or the first one is, we can create a, uh, a requirements diagram and there we can use the model palette here and sel uh, select here one requirement and insert it. The other way is we create the artifact directly in the model browser, create afterwards the diagram and via drag and drop, we move the requirements artifact into the diagram. Typically, the second way is the most practical approach because with the first approach, with selecting the artifacts here, you have the problem they are often not right structured here in our model explorer. So let's do the second option. We right click on requirements, then select SysML 1.6 child, and here we see the artifact requirement. We click on that and we see that we created our first artifact and we name this Bluetooth. And we create a second requirement. Again, right click on the package requirements and we select here also requirement and we name the second requirement Bluetooth class. Now with that done, let's create a requirement diagram. Again, right click on the package requirement, new diagram, and here we select requirement diagram. We click on that and we name our diagram connectivity Connectivity, connectivity, yeah, requirements. You can click enter or press OK. Now with that done, we have the, also here the two options. We can create a requirement here in our model browser. It is here, but then we have the problem that it is Sometimes or I can show it to you when I select this requirement here and I do it, I place it sometimes here. The requirements is, yeah, in our case, right position because the diagram is in that package, but it can happen that we have the diagram somewhere else where we do not want to have the requirement artifacts. But in that case, in, in this case, it works. However, we undo this and we do it via drag and drop. So here on the left side in the model explorer or the model browser, we click on the Bluetooth requirement and hold it and release it on the diagram. Now we have created our first requirement, which is placed on the diagram. Now let's further specify it. We have an ID. Let's say this is the ID one and we have a text to be inserted. So the text is the car must be controlled via Bluetooth. Now this is a little bit against our title of the project with RC car because this stands for radio controlled and radio controlled is a different kind of connectivity compared to Bluetooth. However, we control our car as specified here via Bluetooth. Dot and that's it. Now we can resize this a little bit so that we can also read it. And now let's insert the second requirement, our Bluetooth class. We position it here also bring it to the same size and we continue. This is the ID 1.1 1 
So we specify it as a sub requirement of our main requirement here. And the text is the standard Bluetooth class two must be used. There are different Bluetooth class standards available and we specified that in our case it must be Bluetooth class 2. Now we have to connect them and we can do this. We can close those by the way because this is the relevant here. And now we have several options. Here we see some, some relationships but only a few of them are right. This one here is the containment link. This is the right option where we specify that this is a sub requirement of this requirement. Another option might be when we use the refine. Uh, this specifies that this requirement refines this requirement here. But in our case now, let's use the containment link. We select it. First, we press the higher level requirement or we click on the, right, the higher level requirement and second, we click on the lower level requirement. Now, our requirements are connected. We save the diagram and that's it. Feel free to define several additional requirements and use the different relationships.